it's Collector Sleuth here and today I have some more Nightmare Before Christmas snow globes. These are from 2005 and 2006. So we'll start with the 2005 snow globes. Um, I'm going to do Jack out of this first set of... Um, these came in a set of seven but they didn't come together. Uh, as you can see all of them in the background here are the same style but you had to purchase them separately. So here's this, and I don't know, didn't, yeah, I didn't have a price sticker on the bottom. I think I paid around like $35 to $40 a piece for these, but I, I'm pretty sure they retailed for more than that. I had just bought them on, um, when I purchased them from Disney, the Disney store, I purchased them on sale. So, so this one says Disney Direct. Um, it was like the Disney store, and then they changed to Disney Direct, and then they changed to Disney Shopping, and then they changed back to the Disney store or something like that, and now they're like Shop Disney. Um, so they've changed their name a few times. But anyway, let's go ahead and shake this up. And these are musical. So it does play. This is Halloween. It has some bats in there, but not a lot. You can see not a lot floating around. Anyway, this is Jack seated on this tombstone. And he's got a book in his lap. Let's see if the book says anything. It says a, it looks like it says a Christmas carol. Ooh. Oh, I felt like my leg was, this leg was a little loose. Kind of. Eh, I don't know. So these are from 2005. So pretty simple, just a, like a stone work base uh, with a tombstone with the name on it. And back here, and they have one little like little charm thing on the back. This one says zero, and it's uh, his doghouse. So that's pretty cute. So there's Jack. Next, I'm going to do Sally. So Sally, as you can see, she's got a little bit of dust on her. Some of these will do that. Like, dust somehow gets inside and floats around in there. Um, unfortunately, that's happened on a few of my globes. And so Sally's also is kneeling here in front of two tombstones. And just sitting her name is on there. It looks like all the tombstones on the front are the same. They did not change that up. So, and we got some wire fencing also as well on all of these. And on the back, her charm is this uh, her basket here. Some goodies in it. Yeah, they all uh, play this as Halloween. And they do not light up or anything else. There is no other movement. So pretty much just a pretty simple globe. Next is Zero. Now he's got, seemed like a lot more bats in his than Jack did. Unless these are just stuck at the bottom, I'm not sure. But here's Zero. And Zero is with his doghouse. And on the back he has a tombstone with a cat, black cat, and some bones. Do lock, shock, and barrel. And they put them together. So they're all together here on these tombstones. And there's their name out in front. Pretty cute. 
And on the back for them are their masks. Next up is Oogie Boogie. Oh, he's got lots of bats. Okay. You want to be careful not to grab the globe down here because it's very easy to break this stuff off. Um, on the back of his, he's got some cards and some dice. So yeah, you definitely want to grab from up here. Very cool. And we've seen this pose of Oogie several times as figurines and, and different things and other globes. and So it's very common Oogie Boogie inside there. Now we have Dr. Finkelstein holding the skull and he's in his wheelchair. back of his, he has some uh, skulls here. And the last one is the mare. The mare's just sitting in, uh, in front of a couple tombstones here. Ew, he's got some stuff floating around in there. He's got a little bit of dust in, inside his clove as well. And his hat is curved, yeah, to fit inside there. That's funny. And on the back, he has his megaphone. Very cute. going to go to 2006. So that was all the snow globes for 2007. It was just the set of seven that are all similar um, that you had to purchase separately. And then um, they also, in 2006, so the following year, they came out with some bookend snow globes. And these did come together. Pretty sure they came together. I've had these for, you know, so since 2006. So it's been, it's been a while. Um, I'm pretty sure these came together. Dusty. Let's do Sally first. They are pretty heavy. Um, let's see if she'll. Yeah, they pretty much just have bats in them as well. They do not light up. They do not play music. And so there's her. And they got a little gargoyle on top. It's a stone wall over here with the some doors there. Looks like a tomb of some sort, I think. Sally kneeling in front of this tombstone. And they're just, uh, yeah, pretty simple. Those uh, metal fence here in front. That goes all the way around. And then the jack one, he looks pretty good. Um, for the inside of a globe, I think he, he looks pretty good. Uh, same design. Just with Jack, and he's got zero with him. So pretty cool. So not much going on there. But um, 
yeah, these do not light up or, or uh, play music or anything. They just pretty much are bookends. Very nice. And also from 2006, we have this, uh, this thing's really cool. I really like this. This is a snow globe ornament with a stand. So this is removable. Shake it up. It's just got glitter in there and that's got the scary teddy. I'm gonna leave him off for just a second. And then on the base, we have Santa Jack here. And this time he's got a different set of children, which is nice. And he's got his Donald Duck PJs on and she's got her Mickey Mouse um, nightgown on. And we got this really cool, um, I think this right here feels like metal. I'm not sure what that is. But we got, I'm not sure what material that is, but this cool looking bow and here's the killer duck coming out of his gift. She, she got the scary teddy, if you remember from the movie. Here's a really cool tree. Jack's got a lot of uh, texture and uh, sculpting to his beard, which is really cool. And yeah, you can see the print on these really well on their pajamas here. Um, and here's the scary teddy, obviously, that came out of the gift, floating above the, the present here. So there's Disney shopping on that one. This is a really, really cool piece. They also made another one, which I'll show in, an, in another video, um, of, of this kind of thing. A snow globe ornament on a, on a decorative stand like this. It's very nice. All right, that's one of my favorite pieces. I like that because it also shows a different set of kids. You, you usually see Timmy, the, the little boy with, with the shrunken head. Uh, so I like that they did somebody else this time. Alright, and now I have another globe from 2006, and this is Santa Jack in his coffin sleigh, and here's the bone deer, and the zero. It's amazing how they attach all this and it, and it stays put. Um, pretty cool. And it's on this wooden ramp. So this one does do something. So this is the one that came with an art packet. It came with an art packet and a, and a pin. Um, like a cloison pin or enamel pin or whatever you call those. And um, that's in it. I have them, but they're not. Uh, I have them in a case, so I'm not going to bother with getting those out. But the I think I left the packet in the box, so it's buried somewhere. Whoa. What am I hearing? Oh, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm accidentally pushing down on the... Let's put some batteries in this. Okay. Alright. Let's see what you do. Once again, they put the switch on the on, on uh, where you can get to it, which is nice. Let's see. Oops, wrong way. So it plays with this. Okay. I'm going to light it up. Or... Oh, it has a blower. Okay. So that's the blower. And the lights do light up as well. Around the base. I'm not sure that the blower is working. It sounds pretty noisy and I'm not seeing any... I've had this thing, obviously, since, you know, 2006. So that's 14 years. Um, it's possible it just doesn't work anymore. Trying to help it a little bit. Turned off for a second. Well, the lights work. That's nice. 
And this has sat in a cabinet um, undisturbed for years, so uh, it hasn't been ma uh, mishandled in any way, so I'm not sure why the, the blower is not wanting to really do much here. Well, certainly is noisy. And that's one thing, like I said, the problem with motor, er, uh, blowers, even though I like them, because on big globes, heavy globes like this, it's hard to shake them if you want to shake them, so the blower does it for you. But a lot of times the motors go out on them, um, or, and they're really noisy, so not sure that it's a, that much of a bonus. Yeah, it's... I don't think it's working correctly. Doesn't look to be working correctly. But anyway, his whip is in his hand, which is pretty cool. I should see these pumpkins light up. Yes, they do. I didn't even pay attention to the pumpkins lighting up. The pumpkins light up a little bit. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can turn it off. Yeah. Do you see the light up? It's just too bad. I kind of wish the blower was on a separate switch. Like if you, the, the switch had two different um, options where you could go with blower and without. Like lights only, lights and blower. Because um, it'd be nice to be able to at least turn it on and look at the lights without uh, listening this listening to that noisy blower so um, I do have one more snow globe that I am going to show you because it's from 2006 uh, I didn't have room on my table for it right at this second so I'm going to go grab it and we'll look at that and uh, keep checking back for more Alright guys, just real quick before I close this video, um, this is the last snow globe from 2006. Uh, I've shown this in a previous um, video comparing it to a Walgreens snow globe, so you've probably already seen it before. But here Jack is in his greenish brown sleigh, which is really what color it is in the movie. It's like a, a darkish, uh, worn out green with a lot of brown showing through. So uh, they at least got you know the green in it this time. May not be quite the right shade, but anyway, so here's this one. Uh, it is very big. He's got his presence inside here. Santa Jack here with a lot of texture into his beard. So this is a really nice globe. Got the lid to the coffin with some felt back there. Velvety stuff. This one also plays music. What's this? So let's go ahead and light this up. Oh, I have batteries already in it. That's good to know because I must have... Wait a minute. Let's see, make sure they're not corroding. Oh, one of them. Yeah, they are. They are starting to corrode. Sheesh. I know I showed this to you guys not too long ago, and I guess I left the batteries in it, but I it wasn't that long ago, so I'm surprised they're corroding already. Unless I just put used batteries in it. I don't know. I mean, they're already corroding. Look, oh, yeah, get them out. Let's see, look at that. And that, my friends, is why you don't leave batteries in your items. Unless you got it on a shelf where you're constantly using it and then and actually um, paying attention, uh, checking on the batteries here and there. Um, then it's probably fine, but with as many items as I have and they're enclosed in cases, yeah, I'm not going to be checking them re reg regularly, so... Oh, my. It's a good thing. Good thing I went ahead and grabbed this one. I almost wasn't going to because I've already see shown you in a previous video, but it's a good thing I did because I did not know those batteries were in there. So, here we go. What's it do? Just a second. I've got some technical difficulties here. Well, guys, um, I fiddled around with it, and I cannot get it to work. So, I wouldn't think that little bit of corrosion would have caused this thing to stop working. Um, I put the new batteries in, and the corrosion does not look that bad. Um, I cleaned it out with a little bit of um, vinegar and alcohol, and it's still not working. So, bummer. I don't know if it's just all my blowers are going out finally or if the corrosion even though it was very minor um, caused the damage I'm not sure see as you can see it's pretty clean in here so I don't know um, what's causing it so 
anyway I might fiddle around with it some more but I think it pretty much just had a blower in it and yeah and the blower just blew the snow around let me see if there's some clean that off a little bit yeah I don't know I'm not sure what's causing the problem but anyway on this one it does say Disney store it doesn't say Disney shopping or, or even Disney Direct or anything like that. This one, I don't remember this one ever being on the Disney online website. Um, so I purchased this one through eBay. And that's actually where I first saw it. Because I'm like, whoa, you know where the snow globe come from? It wasn't, I always buy them online because I'm not, I don't live anywhere near a Disney store. So I always buy all my uh, Disney store items online. But this one was not online. So I think this was a Disney store, in the store type thing, exclusive. We actually had to go to a physical store to get it. Uh, and there's been a few other items like that. I think there's like a medium figure that was like that, which I don't have, uh, where you had to go to the store to get it. There was a set of bookends that were like that, which I do have, and I bought those off eBay. Or Craigslist, one of the two, I can't remember which. And um, so, yeah, so once in a while, the Disney store, the brick and mortar stores will get products that they don't provide online. So and this was one of them. And I do have some other items that were as well, and I'll show those to you uh, later on. But anyway, uh, that's going to conclude this video. Sorry I couldn't get that working. Um, I did show it in a previous video, so um, which wasn't that long ago. I, I'm not sure what's going on here. I may have to fiddle with the cleaning it out some more and see if I can't get it to, to uh, start working again. But anyway, guys, uh, th I thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and check back for new content.